This video is about creating features in the Community Maps Editor app. First, you'll need to create an Area of Interest, or AOI. The AOI is like a painter's canvas, which you'll use to create your campus. Click New, Choose, and select Area of Interest. Draw a polygon around your campus or extent being created. Be sure to be accurate to the edges of your area and not too general. Double-click the final vertex or click the checkbox to complete the feature. The Properties panel will open automatically for you to name your area of interest. Give it a name that is unique to the location, such as the school or park name, and avoid using generic or personalized AOI names. Once you have the AOI, the feature creation process can begin. By looking at this AOI on the imagery, it is made up of a few different feature types, but mostly grass. So we're going to start by drawing a large grass polygon around the entire AOI by clicking New, Choose, Landscaping, Grass. The polygon will automatically be trimmed to the edge of the AOI. You can then adjust the transparency of the grass feature so that you can see through it better. Next, we can start cutting new features into the grass like buildings and different campus features. Click Add, Choose, and select Building. Then change the Editing Type button to use the Cut function. While this part of the video is sped up, I'll point out that I did use my spacebar on the keyboard to toggle the snapping and layer hints, as well as using the letter M key to change the line type from straight to curve. Double click on the last point to finish the building and it will cut into the existing grass feature. Next, I'll show the process to create the athletic track and football field. Once again, I'm using the straight and curved line segments to create the precise athletic track feature and then using the cut technique to place the grass section inside the track. Once you have the grass feature inside, you can add more details like the lines and numbers you see in the imagery. Choose Lines, Sports Field, or Court Lines from the Choose menu, then expand the Stencils panel on the left and select the stencil called American Football Field with Numbers and drag it to the map. It's important to take your time to scale and rotate the stencil features to replicate the imagery. Lastly, we'll place a POI or label on the sports stadium so that it will label in the final base map. Switching from the imagery to the vector base map, we can now see the school campus coming to life. Be sure to check out the help articles for tips about feature creation located in the left panel.